I ha we have to get you this clip because I promised to talk about it for like ever and a day. Uh, it's CNN. I guess it was yesterday. I'm not sure whose show it was. I think it may have been Don Lemon appearing on Chris Cuomo's show or Chris Cuomo appearing on Don Lemon's show. I forget how they, I think the one on the right-hand side is the one who's hosting and the left-hand side is the guest. I don't, I don't watch CNN that much, so I don't really know. But they're talking about uh, stacking the court. They're talking about how the Democrats should react uh, when the Republicans we, uh, go in and they and they approve Donald Trump's nominee and place the ninth Supreme Court justice to replace Ruth Bader Ginsburg. Now, here's them. Listen to this. You, it's Don Lemon and Chris Cuomo having one of the most ridiculous conversations I've ever heard. Two grown men who are supposedly experts at what they do. Uh, talk about talk about politics. No matter what happens, everybody sticks. We're going to have team. to blow up the entire system, and you know what we're going to have to do. No, I don't know. You about know that. what we're going to yes, yeah. we, we're going to have to do. You just got to honestly, from what your closing argument is, you're going to have to get rid of the electoral college. Okay, <laughs> okay. First of all, Don Lemon says, "Look, here's the deal: if Donald Trump does what the Constitution allows him to do and choose a new nominee for the Supreme Court, and if the Senate does what they're supposed to do and approve that nominee on the Supreme Court, so that we don't go into a contested election." With, uh, with an incomplete Supreme Court. If that happens, if the system works the way it's supposed to, you know what we have to do? We just have to blow up the whole system. And then you know what we have to go after? The Electoral College. Because the people- I don't see it. Uh, because the, the minority in this country decides who the judges are and they decide who the president is. is well, you that, need a is constitutional amendment to do that. And if Democrats, if Joe Biden wins, Democrats can stack the courts and they can do that amendment and they can get it passed. That's Don Lemon, by the way. Chris Cuomo says, look, you can't just get rid of the Electoral College. You need a constitutional amendment to do that. The Constitution lays out how presidents are elected. It lays out the number of electors. It lays out when electors get together and decide and vote for the president. I mean, you don't actually vote for a president. You vote for electors. The electors cast their ballot for president of the United States. And as you know, you need 270 electoral votes to win. So Don Lemon, I guess, was didn't attend that day in you know school when they taught America, and he's like, well, if the Democrats win, first they'll stack the court, then they'll get rid of the electoral. They'll just they'll have an amendment to get rid of the electoral college. And Chris Cuomo, who you got to give him props, now sounds smarter than he ever has. But I guess anybody talking to Don Lemon would Don Lemon makes everyone seem like a like a political science whiz. Here's what he explains to Don Lemon. Well, you That's need two. That's a danger. Vote in the Congress in three quarters of the state legislature. They may be able to do that. They may. <laughs> okay. So, so Don. So Don Lemon's idea is: look, if Donald Trump and the Republicans put this woman, whoever she is, I don't care if the one from Florida, the one from Notre Dame, I don't care. If they put this woman on the Supreme Court, we got to blow up the system. We've got to stack the court, and then we're going to push through an amendment to get rid of the electoral college, and that'll be and that'll be brilliant. Then we'll have thirteen Supreme Court justices and no electoral college, and we will we will just rule the day. And Chris Cuomo has to stop him and point out that stacking the court doesn't guarantee you an amendment because judges don't make amendments. You need two thirds of the Senate and the House, two thirds of the Senate and the House for a constitutional amendment to get rid of the Electoral College. And you know who's not going to vote for that? Anybody who doesn't live in California or New York. You're not going to get that many state cons uh, legislatures to go ahead and approve that. And this, of course, is all contingent on the ability to stack the court in the first place, which Don Lemon just assumes they'll be able to do. Why? Because Don Lemon assumes that the Democrats are going to win control of the Senate, which they would need to stack the court. He assumes that the Democrats are going to win control of the presidency, which you would need to stack the court. And he's then assuming that they get rid of the filibuster and on top of that, get every single one of the people they need in both houses of the, uh, of the Congress and in the White House to agree to change the Supreme court which has worked perfectly with nine justices for over 150 years in what can be in what can be summed up as political revenge for them not getting their way in the last election that's what it all boils down to and for all of those things to happen i mean comfort there's no way you're going to get democratic control of every single branch of government. And this threat, this comment alone, their first uh, agenda item in the new legislation, in, in the new Congress, is going to be revenge. 
revenge for Donald Trump and Mitch McConnell doing what the Constitution told them to do. And they think that's going to that's going to enamor more people to their party. That's why there's checks and balances so that the president doesn't have too much power. The Senate doesn't have too much power. The Supreme Court doesn't have too much power. You know what we need? We need some checks and balances at CNN. That's what we need. We need Don Lemon to have less airtime.